UK has said, healthcare workers, we've had enough of you. We don't want you anymore. Now it's time to go to Finland. Hey folks, this is your one and only Waka Waka Doctor. We are back at it again, providing information with respect to moving abroad. You know how we do it on this channel. We only share vital gist, you know, sweet, sweet gist. And whenever I find something that is hot, fresh, and scintillating, I bring it here on my channel to share with you. Um, whatever route you want to take to move abroad, whether it's through the academic route, a permanent residency options, as well as job opportunities, this is where you want to be. No. This is the first time of you coming across my YouTube channel, I want to say that you should give this video a thumbs up. Make sure you like, make sure you share to as many people as possible. Don't forget to subscribe. For those who've always watched me, I want to say thank you for tuning in again. Two quick information that I like to pass in all my videos to say that number one, I do not have a Telegram group. I do not have a WhatsApp number. So if you do see anybody saying send messages to this Telegram group or send messages to this WhatsApp number, it is not me. Number two is to say that a few months ago, I wrote a very short book, a very simple book to help you do your travel processes on your own without having to depend on any agent. Um, you can, you know, buy this book, read it and do your travel by yourself. It's very affordable. If you want to acquire this book, you just need to check the description box of this video and you would find the link to the book. Uh, on a second yeah. note, if you're looking to talk to me, you want to speak to me directly, you want to reach out to me, the only way to reach me is in the description box of this video. Over the last few weeks, I've been sharing information about the happiest country in the world and opportunities that are springing from left, right, and center. The last video I shared was about uh, University of Vamia, how you can study for free, for free. And in this video, we're going to be talking about secrets because University of Vamia um, 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 has some secrets that would allow you enter. And some of the things you would also gain from this video is that there's a new pathway for Finland um, with healthcare workers. Remember that the UK has said, healthcare workers, we've had enough of you. We don't want you anymore. Now it's time to go to Finland if you're a healthcare worker, healthcare assistant, or a caregiver. Just as always, I don't like to pass this information all by myself. I would bring people who live in these countries, who know what it takes um, to move to these countries, and who have the expertise to share this information to come and help as many people as possible on WD's channel. So without much ado, I'm going to bring my guest to introduce herself and tell us where she is and what she does. How are you doing? I'm doing great, Waka Waka Doctor. I'm so honored and I'm so excited, you know, being in your channel today. Thank you. So, much. hi oh, guys, my name, name is... Yeah. Hi guys, my name is Ruth Ogechi Raymond and um, I have a YouTube channel, Ruth Academy Hub. I talk about immigration to Finland and also so many other opportunities around the whole world. So I'm so honored to be in your channel today. And we're talking about Finland today. Fantastic. Thank you very much. We're going to start three main things we want to talk about. Number one is that when I, I made two videos about, you know, University of Vamia and even getting jobs in Finland, and some of the questions uh, popped up is about this new immigration law in Finland that they don't want migrants. WD, why are you still advising us to go to Finland? Talk to us. What are these laws <laughs> about? And is it true that people shouldn't come to Finland anymore? Okay. Uh, first of all, I've been living in Finland for so many years, almost 10 years now. And I came from a family of five and all of us are here. I have a lot of cousins in Finland. And in fact, most of my village people... We it's are, a kingdom we are of Finland. <laughs> We are both 70 people alone from my village in Finland, and all of us are doing so great. 17 or 70? 70, yeah, above 70, 70 plus. People. And more people are still coming. <laughs> in Finland? Yes, in Finland. And everybody's doing so great. You know, when wow. you come, you bring your family, you bring your siblings, the other one bring your siblings. So just like that. <laughs> go on, go on. So tell so, us. Um, 
Okay, so recently Finland wants to change a new government. So a new prime minister is trying to come in. So the the, the former prime minister that is living, which is Sana Mari, she's an immigrant, like she loves immigrants. She made a, a lot of laws that is favoring a lot of foreigners in Finland. So, but this incoming government, they made a lot of laws, you know, they drafted a lot of laws that is not favorable to foreigners, you know, and a lot of protests have been going on, you know, since how many weeks ago, since they drafted this law. For example, they say that before you get your permanent resident permit, you need to stay in their country for six years. You need to write a language exam before you can get your permanent resident permit. And before then, you just after your study, you just apply and they will give to you. And now even the to get a Finnish citizenship, you need to pass through a lot of process, lots of exam, and you know so many things. And also they made some laws that is also not favoring to their own citizens as well. You know, this uh, some of the law is stating that the higher income earners will be paying low tax, while the low income earners will be paying high tax. And wow. even the Finnish people have also hit the streets protesting, you know. And also, there's, they say that if you're illegal immigrants in Finland without documents, they either put you in the prison or they send you back to third world country. Which country doesn't have illegal immigrants? <laughs> so all this thing is like, and again, they say that if you finish your studies and you didn't get job within three months, they're going to deport you back to your country. So all those things is really crazy and is uncalled for. But the good news is that Finland is an amazing country. They are still debating on it. They haven't actually, you know, agreed on it in the parliament. And because of the protests and because they are so racist, like they are, it's, it's, it's racism. Even the president of Finland made a comment against those laws. So hopefully because of the protests, because of the president also influence, and also the citizens, for, foreigners imagine also is hitting the street for protests. So I hope they are going to do the U-turn and make amends because every other country is opening their borders. So why is all this thing in Finland? Like, why? Mm. Mm. It's uncalled for. It's uncalled for. And I'm hoping that over the next few weeks to months, changes will come that would favor immigrants. And let's talk about the video I made about University of Vamia. You actually have more insight about University of Vamia because you have people in University of Vamia and there are <laughs> secrets to entering University of Vamia. Do you want to share with us? Yes, actually, just like I mentioned, I came from a family of five and all of us are in Finland and three of my siblings, they came through Vamia. It's actually a vocational college, not a university. And people can come into this vocational college to come and study for free. So when I noticed this school, I called my brother and they made application. So the secret of getting admission to this school is that you need to get yourself a working certificate because they are going to demand for that. And you need to provide so, so many other goods. I know maybe you have a recommendation letter or maybe any other achievement you have. You need to add it to your application to make you stand out from others. You know, And another secret is that a lot of people want to go to into cook and waiter or waitress. That thing is very, very competitive. So you need to look for other programs like mechanical theater and machinists and other, other one that is not complete. Even this year alone, they, they receive about thousands of applications, this January application, and they need only 20 people. So you see, it's a high level of competition going on. So and one of my friends, a lady, she got admission to this school. And she, she got admission to mechanical filter, but other people are going into cook, Ooh, going into wait. uh, waiter or waitress. So this is the secret of getting admission, standing a high chance of getting admission in Vamia Vocational College. And one good thing about it is that they will admit you directly from Africa, wherever you are, you know, because vocational schools in Finland is for free. So, but this is the only school that accepts foreigners, you know, directly from Africa. So this is just the secrets of getting secrets admission of in getting this. Treat. Okay, yes. thank you very much. Now to the meat mm -hmm. of the gist. The UK was one of the countries that started this whole healthcare workers visa and, you, yeah. know, you know, social care and caregivers. And I know Canada does the same. Australia has the same. New Zealand has the same. Um, and Luxembourg as well has one tiny pathway like that. But yes. it's interesting to hear that such a thing is happening in Finland. Healthcare workers visa. Tell us. 
So about the healthcare assistant and the caregiver job opportunity in Finland, I was as in I was able to you know receive this good news first at my workplace because I'm doing my second degree in healthcare nursing. So one of my colleagues was telling me that uh, he came to Finland directly to come and do care and give our work. So I was like surprised because in Finland, language is a, a very big barrier. So I was surprised that companies are employing people directly abroad. So I wanted to know more. So he was telling me about the sick road management. So you just need to provide a caregiver certificate and you know with your working experience and you apply, you know. So one of my subscribers also applied, a lot of them applied, and I interviewed one of my subscribers and she succeeded. They they have approved all her documents and she'll be coming to Finland from Nigeria. And this lady was somebody that was saying that they do her for million naira, and now she's coming to Finland like without spending any time through this company to, to come and do caregiver work. So if you like to know more, you can just check more from my YouTube channel. I've made a lot of videos about it. You can also join my WhatsApp group uh, where we share lots of information. So it's a great opportunity for Nigeria. For those who doesn't have so much money or doesn't have much food, Is it just Nigerians or money. other Africans and other Asians Africans as well? All over the world, not only Nigeria, all over the world. And they accept your documents. Once you provide the document they need, they are accepted. And I also have companies in Nigeria that is also training people, both online and physical, to get this caregiver certificate. You know, so that is also an interesting so, part so about what, which, which company, which company um is it that employs caregivers in Finland? You the, the name of the company is Sick Road, Sick Road or Workforce. How so when you spell that, how do you spell Sick Road? Sick now, no normal sick, <laughs> the road. <laughs> S-I-L-K-R-O-A-D. Yes, yes, Silk Road. Exactly. Okay. Yes. So, all you need is basically just get your healthcare courses, yes? The ones yes. from Coursera and Udemy? No, they, they don't accept because a lot of my viewers get from Alison and they didn't agree. A lot of them was rejected. While a lot of them that got their certificate from maybe hospital and, you know, from other maybe companies so that train them. The intensive training. Thank you. Physical mm -hmm. training. And Physical once training. you provide that kind of certificate, they will approve you immediately and you come into Finland. Is there so a great for IELTS? Not at all. Not at all. But they're going to all. train you language this in just a few weeks and you're good to go. And are you able to move with your family? Yes. Once you get uh, your job and the resident permit, you can apply directly together with your family in Finland. But coming with Finland, like coming with your family to Finland, it demands, you know, more money. Because mm. so I think I always suggest to my viewers, you come first, prepare ground for your family, then you bring them a few months later. So I think that is the best. So carrying your family at the same time moving to a foreign land. Seeing that, I mean, you have very good experience. You've been in Finland for a decade. You've apparently helped the whole of your village to move to Finland <laughs> and you're helping more people come. How can people reach out to you if they want information, if they need your assistance, if they need your help? How can they reach out to you? Oh my God. First of all, my YouTube channel, Ruth Academy Hub. Just follow me. I share amazing information about Finland, about so many other opportunities. It's Ruth, I have Ruth also Academy I Hub, yeah? Yeah, Root Academy Hub. Okay. I also have IG account, Root Academy Hub, Facebook, Root Academy Hub, my WhatsApp group, Root Academy Hub. So, okay. And hopefully, so, maybe I can also give you my username so you drop in the description, Root Academy I will, Hub. I will like, drop. I will drop all the links that are available in the description box of this video. So, guys, you can look for her on YouTube, Instagram. Facebook, it's Ruth Academy Hub, where she shares information to help people move to Finland. And you also, if you need assistance getting to Finland, uh, moving as a health caregiver, moving to the vocational school, you can reach out to her. Um, so folks, that's been moving to Finland and you've got fantastic information. There's a part two of this video coming up maybe in the next couple of weeks, but I promise you that one is even going to be hotter. Uh, thank you very much for coming on my show. Thank you very much for uh, passing this information you. across. Till I see thank you guys you. another time, another episode. Thank you. <laughs>
Cheers. Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you so much. God bless you.